Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Melanie. I'm a financial analyst. I do videos on side hustles, entrepreneurship, passive income, and all things money. And today's video is going to be seven productivity tips for working moms. So let's get right into it. Number one, recognize the things that are stealing away your time and taking away your focus or recognize the things and the people that are doing this. So how do you do this? If somebody is always calling you or stopping by your office to chat and breaking up your focus time, that is somebody who's taking away your time and your focus. Or if you are focusing on work and you stop to randomly clean something or randomly get some papers off your desk, or if you're working from home, you randomly get up and do the kitchen. These are the things that are breaking your focus that are stopping you from being productive. Number two, pick a few days a week to wake up before your kids. This is whether you work from home or you have a nine to five that's in the office Monday through Friday. Pick a few days a week where you can wake up before your kids so you can kind of get some alone time and some time to focus on how your day is going to be set up. For me, I wake up one hour before my kids so that I can get ready, do a few things, have my silent cup of coffee without anybody stopping me from doing what I'm doing so it won't mess up my getting ready routine. This is just something I do. It's for me. It's for my brain to focus where everything can be silent. One hour is not a whole lot of time dedication. So try this. Let me know down in the comments if just one hour early in the morning will work for you. Number three, give them some mandatory homework time or mandatory quiet time so that you can set aside some time to do stuff on your computer so that it can be focused quiet computer time i like to pick the times between 3 and 5 p.m so this is like homework time or nap time depending on what age your kids are and then you can kind of wrap up your work day from three to five and then you won't have to carry those things on to the next day this is how i feel like i'm the most productive so i can finish everything that i need to do for that day and then it won't carry on into the next day and the next day and the next day also this gives your kids some routine set time every day where they know they're gonna have to do their homework or they know that's gonna be nap time try this also let me know down in the comments if this works and number four set up a computer list this is the list that I like to set up when I'm building my to-do list for the day and this is a list of stuff that I can only do on the computer so it has to be focused I can't have kids like pulling on me and asking me to do stuff pretty much I absolutely have to be on the computer in order to do these tasks so set up a list that just says computer time and these are the tasks that I have to do on the computer. Outsource easy things like sweeping and small chores, like taking things out to the recycle bin that your kids can do so that you don't have to do those things. And also I found it that my kids really like to do chores that are small like this because it makes them feel like they're helping. And these are safe and easy chores that they could do. And I've noticed that kids really like to help. They really like to feel needed. And also this frees you up for different tasks that only you are able to do. And number six, this is my last one. If you are a mom who owns her own business or a mom who works, works strictly remote, then definitely set aside some time during the week or a few days that are your meeting days where you're on Zoom calls and things like that, where at least there's like two or three days a week where you say, these days are my meeting days. The other days I'm not gonna be meeting. Because what I found out that helps is it doesn't break up your day with, oh, I have to get ready to be on Zoom and I have to prepare to talk to this person. You can have two days a week that are just like silent work days. I call them focus days where the whole day you can focus without talking to anybody or dealing with anybody on camera or doing calls. If you are a nine to five mom, I would suggest setting up your calendar in a similar way and then kind of hunkering down in your office those other two days. So those can be focus work days but really try these tips. I hope that all of them help you. I do these tips and they have helped me be way more productive as a working mom so that I can get things done and still have time to do things with my kids. If this video has added a little bit of value to your life, go ahead and click the like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.